Hey everyone, happy holidays from Card Overflow. This is Josh Little here with Mike Albanese. What did you do? Um, I just got top 16 at ARG Richmond, the hopefully last spiral tournament. Excellent. And um, before I show you my deck, I want to say a few things. Um, since Melbourne, I think the format, not really the format changed, but like the way people played Spiral changed a lot. Like since Reaper was in everyone's main decks, that like it, a lot of games you'd, where you'd go for, where you were forced to go first, you'd have to like set back or not summon any monsters to commit to like Gamma and Reaper and everything. And basically it would get to a station where you pass back and forth. And that was because of the Melbourne deck that everyone was playing second. So this tournament, you had to prepare for people doing that, which I didn't prepare correctly, as I'll explain to you with some of my card choices, but I realize that now, obviously too late, but whatever. Um, yep, so I'll show you my deck. Let's get into it. Yeah. Um, uh, three Agent, because it's a Spiral Monster. Three Tough, you go second, and it's good, yeah. Then the One Ofs, Quick Fix, I hate this card. Drone, Master Plan, Sleeper, and last resort, uh, there's like nothing else to play. If there were more good spiral monsters, I would play them. Unfortunately, there are not. And then Gofu, um, I don't really like this card, but like it's good going second to break boards through like Reaper and stuff. So I guess uh, I played again, but I don't think I ever summoned it. Obviously, that has nothing to do with whether I played it again. Uh, three Ash, because it stops everything. Three Reaper, because the only deck is spiral essentially. And if you play another deck, you like just reaper them for like Baguska or Omega if it's like Pendulum. And I play a few extra reaper targets in my extra deck. Um, the card I want to talk about is uh, Gamma. This card I think is absolutely unplayable. I think it is not good. Um, it's so like, say you're replacing four hand traps with it. So, like for the argument's sake, say you're playing like four ogre, just like for the sake of four ogre for our sake of argument. Three-fourths of the time, your Gamma is going to negate something, and it's susceptible to, like, Ash if they have if they have to do it. And then one-fourth of the time, it's literally just a blank. And also, the fact that... And that's only when you have no monsters. When you have monsters, this card is literally... Like, this is literally just a 0-0, zero, zero, Thousand Eyes Idol that does nothing. And no one is going to hand-trap you when you have no monsters and you go first, unless they're like really bad. And if they're that bad, you should be beating them anyway. Uh, all week I said how this card was terrible and I wasn't gonna play it. And last minute, Ryan really, really <laughs> snake charmed me into playing it and it was awful. So um, never again. And then Maxi, because it's Maxi, best card ever printed. Um, I don't know, 24 maybe? 23. 23 monsters, sure. Uh, three Resort, because it is the best spiral card. Three Terraforming, because it searches Resort. Play, we'll play these cards while we can. I think next format, these will be gone. But, you know. Um, uh, three Foolish Goods. This got even better when like the format changed, where you're having to pass back and forth, because you goodsing for Assault to summon Master Plan from your hand is really important, because they can Reaper you and you can still resolve Master Plan. But, um, yep. Uh, Rhoda, because the search is tough and agent. Foolish, because once again, it like with this, like it summons Master Plan, turn one to play around Reaper. And it's just like summon, if you only have like agent in this or tough in this, you can still make double helix. Uh, one for one, this is probably the most like toxic card. Like it's, if your opponent goes one for, if your opponent goes resort to search Master Plan and, you, and they one for one you, like you could have, you literally have to have like Reaper and Ash. And, like, they still get the trap card, so they still have four other cards. And the exceed they make. So it's all it's so insane. When this card's good, this card's ridiculous, like, in every format. And um, and obviously you can't ash the one for one, because if they gamble you, you just, like, that's just insane. Like, you just lose, lose. You really lose. Uh, assault. Um, it's cool. Like, it's not the worst to draw, because you could, like, draw a few cards with it. But, like, it's annoying when you draw, because you want to combo it when you send it with goods. And then one big red, never wanted a second one. It's a good card, though. You need cards to search with quick fix. There's, like, none. Then um, two rescue and one evenly matched. This is literally just uh, Ryan and Brandon and everyone else who played the same deck in Melbourne's deck, except we cut an evenly matched. Um, we wanted to get to 40, and also this card just, like, 
is not good in the mirror if your opponent has a pulse. Like, it just isn't. And I activated it zero times. Um, eventually, it was to a point where I just was signing it out because I was assuming, like, I would never get into a situation where it would be good. I got, like, evenly matched, like, once. And it was one of those, like, turn three, like, I finally go in turn three. He ashes one thing, I attack, and then he evenly me, but I still won. But, uh, yeah, I would just never... In, like, a format like this, I would just not be playing this. Like, I might sign it for, like, Pendulum and Garbage decks, but I would never play it, like, in the main deck for Spiral. And then two of these, um... Uh, Ryan Levine thinks is the this is like the best card, and he he think and he, and he's right. This card it's in the mirror. If you're like grinding back and forth, like if you don't have Helix, this is the card that like can keep you in the game. You're getting a like a plus one on their turn, a plus one on your turn for like three turns in a row, and then when it dies, you can just like combo thing grave. And um, I wouldn't play three though, although uh, it was a funny consideration. Yeah, it was uh, forty cards. Side, uh, yeah, extra. Extra deck, uh, two Helix. I never wanted three. Never wanted three. Um, one Link Spider. Just for Gofu. Uh, Ib. Proxy. All the same stuff. Nigirisu. Uh, Guy Saber. This card, I actually summoned this, more of this tournament than I have in the last, like, three months. Because to beat over, um, a Chaos Hunter, and then... To beat over a Bagusco when my decode was gone. Uh, decode. Shout out to Ryan Levine for almost not playing this at Dallas. Uh, Firewall, never summoned it. And then Borlo, this card's ridiculous. If you don't own this card, you should probably own this card. This card's so insane. So ridiculous. Exceeds, Bagusco, and Princess. I made like each of them a couple times. Although, it's a really rare situations where you make this. And this is a, like, your hands are just insane. Then I played... This garbage card for Gamma. And two Reaper targets. So, like, you just can't... It's really hard to beat ABC. Like, so... And the Reaper's in your main deck, so why not? And there's so much room in this extra. And this card, uh, I think, like... Mecha was, like, the single best, like... Not Spiral monster your opponent could, like, summon against you. To, like... Like, the best, like, trap monster they could summon against you. Like, if they summon this, it's really hard to, like... Like, result, like, if they're, once again, if they have a pulse, it's really hard to, like, make a board because they'll just negate Helix or Master Plan. And, um, yeah, that's 15. Side deck. This card's terrible. Uh, it was our 15th card. Uh, we put it in if, like, our opponent, like, was playing, like, hyper-aggressively and thought, like, they would just go in. And um, I drew it against that guy, and I actually lost because of it. Because, um, I'll explain the situation later. It's crazy. Um, so, like... I guess this is like a new card that we decided to play. It was Ryan's idea to play this for a trick star because you could just like Chaos Hunter is dependent on them tagging on their own turn. And we think like people just trick star players like acknowledge that people are siding Chaos Hunter. So they will never tag on their turn, which turned out to be false. So whatever. But then this card, if you just summon Tougher Agent and equip it with this, I mean, they already can't beat Tougher Agent. But if you summon Tough Rage and equip it with this, you can attack over their monster. And then if it's tough, you can use it main phase two. If they strike you, you just get back tough and use it again. But And when it, attack over, it attacks over monster, you just banish one of their back rows. So this was really good. I played against like a Draco deck, and this was really good. I like summoned a guy, equipped it, attacked over his Ignis, and banished his back row. It was insane. And um, yep, this also misses timing for people who don't know. This is not a combo card. If you link with the monster equipped with this, you do not cannot get this card's effect. Uh, three twin um, for like garbage decks. I activated it once. My opponent had prohibition, calling super agent, and I activated this, and he lost. That was a nice one. Now like the dumb cards for the mirror, uh, three floodgate and bottomless, and two strike. Um, these are for like when you get in the pass back scenarios, you want to like set one every turn. So you could like stop their play if they do make one. And then if and a cool thing is if they like if you have this and you floodgate them, they can't use gamma, and then you can use your Reaper. And if you use bottomless, you could just bottomless their guy and chain reaper. And then this is cool because if they don't do anything on your turn, on your turn you could strike a hand trap. Like if you decide that's the turn you have to go in. So yeah, these were good. Um so 
this card probably should have been in my main deck. It was it was really good, like really good. Um, I would have loved to see this like in my main deck instead of like Gamma and stuff, but you know, we live and we learn. Then last two cards were two evenly matched. Just um, put two more in for like Pendulum and like, I guess if you play against Trickstar and they're like super trap heavy, but uh, not for the mirror. I thought it'd be okay in the mirror. I had like one opponent who like, it would have been good in the mirror. But other than that, no, this card was not very good. I activated it like once because I played against the Pendulum in Swiss and it was game weird. Um, uh, yeah, but that's it. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh is terrible. Um, just give a couple shout outs to Card Overflow, my team, my sponsor. Um, all my friends on the team who topped, uh, Steve Gleason, Stephen McMurdy, and that was it. Um, shout out to uh, my my good personal friend and roommate, Ryan Levine. Um, I stayed with him and Brandon, who is behind the camera, for the last few days. And not we didn't really play Yu-Gi-Oh, so it was great. But uh, we talked about this deck and... Um, made a lot of mistakes in building it for this tournament, but whatever. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and, um, yep, just them, card overflow. That's really it. Um, you go sucks, I suck, etc. See ya.